Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the natural log rules for calculus. Now, natural logs are a very important part of calculus, and from what I've heard, there's some instructors that really like to use natural log problems in calculus because it helps them use a lot of rules and test students on several different things at once in a single uh, problem. But well, let's talk about some of the basic fundamentals for natural log rules in calculus, starting with a derivative. Now, one of the things that you definitely want to think about, and it's used a lot in uh, calculus, is the definition of the derivative of natural log of x. The derivative of natural log of x is simply 1 over x. Now, an offshoot of this is if you have the derivative of natural log of something other than x, like a particular function, for example, the derivative of that is 1 over f of x, so it's 1 over the inside expression, times the derivative of what's inside. This is kind of an extension of the uh, chain rule that uh, you'll have learned as the calculus course goes on. Now, so these two are really important derivative natural log rules. Now, for integrals, one of the things that you'll see a lot is the integral of 1 over x dx. Now, if the natural log of x derivative goes to 1 over x, then it only makes sense that the antiderivative, or the integral of 1 over x, gives you natural log. But for reasons that you'll discover later, it's the natural log of absolute value of x plus the indefinite constant. And for substitution rules, you'll see that the, deriv the in integral of d over u is equal to a natural log of absolute value of u plus c. But these are the rules that most commonly use the natural log function, and I highly recommend using and knowing these as much as you can. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction as to the natural log rules for calculus.